everybody. I hope you are having a great holiday season. And we still have a bit to go with the celebrations. And so tonight we're going to make espresso martinis. Now, if you've tried an espresso martini and you loved it, that is great because I want you to try it again. I want you to try to make it yourself because you probably ordered it at a restaurant or someplace special, like maybe a party for the holidays. And I have a wonderful recipe I want to share with you. Espresso martinis have been trending for a while, but I've never made a video for you showing you how I make mine. So let me tell you what you will need. You will need ice for your cocktail shaker. You will need espresso and make sure whether you make your own espresso or you purchase espresso put it in the refrigerator and get it cold it makes it that much better for the cocktail you can use simple syrup you do not have to and I'll tell you about that in a moment you will need vodka and in this case I'm using Grey Goose vodka and you will need Kahlua. Now this is a rum and coffee liqueur. So that is a very simple list of ingredients. So let's get started. I'm going to make two martinis, but I'll put the information for one martini in the information box below. The first ingredient is vodka, and we're going to add two ounces for each cocktail. Now you want to make sure your vodka is cold. It always makes a better cocktail, especially martinis, if it's cold. Then we're going to add one half ounce of Kahlua for each cocktail. So that would be one ounce. Now this is a rum and coffee liqueur. It is 20% alcohol. Now that's not the same in every country. Some countries have decreased the alcohol content to 16%, I believe the UK. So any of my UK viewers out there, yours is probably 16%. In the States, it is 20%. Now we're gonna add one ounce of espresso per cocktail. There's my two ounces of espresso, cold. And I'm including a half an ounce of simple syrup to this recipe. If you generally drink your coffee black and you don't like a sweetener in it, you may not want sweetener in your martini. So I am making this with half an ounce each. There we go, of simple syrup. And we talked about simple syrup in the past. It's one part sugar, one part water. You heat it, dissolve it, and then cool it. So that actually has been in the refrigerator and cooled. It makes it much easier to use in a martini. However, you can find prepackaged simple syrup at the grocery or at your liquor store. And I will find that information for you and put it below. The espresso was invented in the 1980s in London in order to have the caffeine of the espresso and the liquor in order to keep the party going later into the night. So we have our ice and now we're going to shake it. You want to shake it all the way from the front to the back, not just wiggle it because you want to create a crema for the top of this cocktail. Then let's see if we have a cold, it feels cold, very cold. Oh, look at this. I think we have made the perfect espresso martini. Look at this foam on top. Wow. The more you shake it, the higher the crema foam is. And then you'll see that it divides out. 
and you'll have the darker espresso on the bottom and the lighter on the top. Okay, we're going in on this espresso martini. Perfection. Now you can garnish your espresso martini with either coffee beans to float on the top, or you can use a bit of a sprinkle of chocolate. If you want that mocha flavor, it would add just another layer of flavor, but you don't want to go too heavy on the mocha, I don't think. Now if you are a real chocolate lover, go for it. And I hope you enjoy the remainder of your holiday season. And whether you're staying home or you're having guests in or you're having a party, if you're having a party, I suggest setting up a martini station. How about that? Mmm. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. And don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram. Bye.